Hello, and today we're going to be going over equation of a circle. So the main equation of a circle for GCSE is this, x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. So what this represents is basically, if you draw an x and y axis, it represents um, a circle like this, where the center of the circle is 0 comma 0. So whenever you have this type of equation, where you have x squared plus y squared equals something, then it's talking about a circle with the, with the center 0, 0, and also the radius of this circle is the square root of the right-hand side. So square root of r squared, of course, is just r. So this is going to be r, r, minus r, and minus r, okay? Because the radius, of course, is r. So an actual like question with numbers would look like this. x squared plus y squared equals 25. Can you sketch the circle? Okay, so remember the center of the circle is always 0, 0. So we just draw a circle like that. And then the radius of this circle would be, remember this is r squared. So r is root 25, which is just 5. Okay, so that's 5 minus 5, etc. Of course, they might not give you um, really nice numbers. They might say, you know, this is 10, for example. So how does that change everything? Okay, this is the radius squared. So what is the actual radius? It's just square root 10. Okay, so this will be square root 10, square root 10, etc. Okay, it's quite straightforward. Now, the actual questions they'll give you would look like this. So they show you equation of a circle, right? Just before we even think about this tangent stuff he's talking about, what is the equation of this circle? The radius is 5, right? So the equation of this circle would be x squared plus y squared equals 25. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. They're saying this equation of a circle has got a tangent at P. Okay, so this, this tangent just means a line that touches the circle once. Okay, so this would be a tangent, for example. So we have a tangent, they're saying, can we work out the equation of the tangent? Okay, equation of a tangent, basically, we need to work out what is this y equals mx plus c, okay, of this tangent. So we need to work out two things, what is m and what is c? The first thing I'm going to work out is m. What is the gradient of this tangent? So to work out the gradient of a tangent on a circle, you do the following steps. I'm going to first work out the gradient of the radius. Gradient of the radius that goes through P. So what, what does that mean? Well, remember, we said this is 0, 0. And this is the gradient I want to work out. This gradient of the radius that goes through P. So this radius, what are the coordinates of this radius? 0, 0 and 4, 3. So if we just do change in y over change in x, we just do 4 take away 0, over, sorry, we do 3 take away 0, because that's the y's, over 4 take away 0. So the gradient of this radius is 3 over 4. Now, what was the point of working out the gradient of the radius? Okay, that was, the, that was our first step. Gradient of the radius is 3 over 4. Now, the point of working out the gradient of the radius is the following. You have to remember that when you have a radius and a tangent that touches the radius, they meet at 90 degrees. Okay, this is, a, this is the most basic circle theorem that you have to remember. That means the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Now, if two lines are perpendicular, right, say this line was... Um, the gradient of this line was 5 and now they're saying what's the gradient of this new line which is perpendicular you're going to say the gradient of this new line is minus 1 over 5 okay this is something you have to remember the gradient of a perpendicular line is minus 1 over the old gradient of course they might not make it that easy they might say the gradient of this line was you know 2 over 3 okay so what's the gradient of this perpendicular line it's still the same thing. Basically, you do minus 1 over this new fraction, sorry, this old fraction. But when you do minus 1 over a fraction, what happens is you basically just flip the fraction. OK, 
Okay, so it's three over two. And of course, remember, we have to put a minus here as well. So the gradient of this uh, perpendicular line is minus three over two. So with that in mind, we've got the gradient of the radius. So now we can easily work out the gradient of the tangent. What is the gradient of the tangent? Well, the gradient of the radius is three over four. So the gradient of the tangent is minus four over three. Okay, we're very close now. Remember, we just wanted y equals mx plus c. And look, we actually managed to work out the gradient of the tangent. So what's our plus c? Okay, so now I'm going to work out equation of tangent. What's the equation of a tangent? y equals mx plus c. Of course, we just worked out m. m is minus 4 over 3. So I'm going to write y equals minus 4 over 3 x plus c. Now, you might ask me, how are we going to work out C? Well, from here, it's just a simple equation of a line question. To work out the y-intercept, you just plug in a point on the line. Now, do we know a point on the line? Yes, we know the point P, which is 4,3. So we just plug this into the equation that we have so far. So if we plug that in, we get 3 equals minus 4 over 3 times x, which is 4, so four minus 4 over 3 times 4 plus c. And if we keep working that out, if we keep simplifying this, and we, we should work out c. So if you keep simplifying this, you get 3 equals minus 16 over 3 plus c. You can use a calculator for this, that's no problem. If you do use a calculator for this, you just do 3 plus 16 over 3, and you will get... 25 over 3 and now we've finished the question okay the question is done now the question said work out the equation of the tangent at the point p we just worked out that the equation of the tangent is what's the equation of the tangent y equals minus 4 over 3x plus c c was 25 over 3 so plus 25 over 3 okay so that is the equation of the tangent. So this is a very typical question. Okay, You have to memorize how to do these types of questions. The next type of question is like this. The question says, work out the coordinate of Q. Okay, So they give you an equation of a circle. They, write, they draw a tangent at P. And they say, can you work out the coordinate of Q? Now, this is actually, I drew the same diagram as before. Okay, so the same diagram as before. So let's pretend that we did all the working out in the question and we got the equation of the tangent of P. So the first thing you do, would need to do is work out the equation of the tangent of P. Equation of tangent. So luckily we just worked that out. The equation of the tangent was just y equals, uh, what was the equation of the tangent? y equals minus 4 over 3x plus 25 over 3. Now, if we have the equation of the tangent, it's very easy to work out what Q is now. To work out what Q is, do we know anything about Q, first of all? Do we know anything about the coordinate of Q? Of course, we don't know what the x-coordinate is, right? Just from looking at this diagram, we don't know what x-coordinate is. But Q is on the x-axis. That means the y-coordinate must be zero okay this is something very important if you have a coordinate on the x-axis right say this is three what is this really this is three comma zero because anything on the y-axis uh, anything on the x-axis has a coordinate of uh, a y value of zero so even though we don't know what q is we have uh, zero so that's all we need to work out the x value. That's all we need. Why is that all we need? Because we just plug in this. And let's see what happens. So instead of y equals, we're going to write 0 equals. So we say 0 equals minus 4 over 3. Do we know what x is? No, that's what we're trying to work out. So let's just leave it x. Leave it as x. So minus 4 over 3x plus, then you write 25 over 3. And now this is very easy to solve, okay? So you just need to make x the subject, and you'll get this, 
and they're both over 3, so they both cancel out basically. So we get x equals, divide both sides by 4, 25 over 4. And that is the question finished. Q is 25 over 4, comma, 0. Part B to this question would be this. Can you work out the area of triangle OPQ? So in the previous part, we just worked out that this was 25 over 4, comma, 0. We know what P is, it's 4, comma, 3. And O is the center of the circle, so that's just 0, comma, 0. So basically, we need to work out, if I just make a triangle out of all of this, you need to, we need to work out what this area is. So to work out the area of this triangle, it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. If I just draw this, sketch this like this, O, P, Q. Um, all we need to do is half times base times height. Okay, that's the, that's the area of a triangle. And we have the base, right? Because remember, O is just, O is just 0, 0. Q is just 24 over 5. So if you really think about it, what is that distance, right? What is this distance? It starts at 0, it ends at 25 over 4. So the distance is literally just 25 over 4. So we've got the base. What's the height? Well, we want the, we want this height basically, right? We want the this perpendicular height. So of course, you might think, how am I supposed to work out this height? Luckily, we even know the coordinate P, which is 4, 3. And since OQ is on the x-axis, right, the height of P is just the y-coordinate. It's the y-value. The height is literally just 3. Okay, if you think about it, what is that height? Well, it's just 3. Okay, so we've got everything we need. The area of OBQ is half times 25 over 4 times 3. And if you just plug that all into your calculator, you should get 75 over 8. Okay, 75 divided by 8. And of course, they might say give you an answer in units. Or they didn't really give us any units, so we can just leave our answer like that. Or we could write unit squared because normally area is like centimeter squared or meter squared and there we have it i hope you found that video useful support us by liking subscribing and share this with your friends and if you still got some more questions on anything drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.